Hi everybody, today I'm working with memory box dies again. I'm going to start out by cutting two of the new background dies, the Starry Night background and the All Star Detail Plate background. And then we'll move on from there. I'm going to start with the magnetic platform and two cutting plates and cut them first. I like to cut with the blades up. So I put the die down first and then the cardstock. Because they're so detailed, I just feel like I get a better cut that way. So we have that one cut. And we'll come back to it in a minute. Then this one is the All-Star Detail Plate. I really like it. It's cuts and embosses. So right now we're just doing the cutting. My squeaky old big shot. And there you have the different sizes of dies that you can keep and use for embellishing. Okay, so since we have that right there. We'll just keep it like that. But I'm going to take away these two cutting mats and that magnetic platform and bring the multi-purpose platform and move it back to tab one. Let's see, can you see that? There we go. Put that through. I'm going to add, I'm going to use two new cutting mats. I mark them, do not cut so that they always stay flat and no cut marks in them for embossing. So I'm going to lay that down there like that. Then I have two different ways to show you. This one is using the tan mat from Spellbinders and then a cutting mat. And then I have five pieces of 65 pound cardstock here cut in half. 8 half by 11 cut in half. So we have a cutting plate, the die with the cardstock, the tan mat, another cutting plate, and then the shims. And I'm going to, oops, bump the camera. Roll this through. And bring it back. Take this off. And there you can see all that fabulous detail from that die, I hope. So you can ink it, cut it in colored stock, card stock. Um, isn't that pretty? Okay, so that is how you do the all-star detail plate. Now we'll go on to the Starry Night background that we cut. And this is kind of tricky because you have these holes over here. Well, this is actually where the embossing, where the cardstock goes through. So you don't want cuts in there. So don't panic <laughs> when you come, when you notice that. So here again, we have it on tab one, the do not cut plate, the die with the blades up and the cardstock, the tan mat, another do not cut mat, and the cardstock shims. I use five. You know, depending on what I'm doing, sometimes I'll use less, but for this, just stick with saying five. There you can see the detail of those stars that went through the holes. Stars everywhere. Here's one that they've all been knocked out of already. Isn't that nice? But you can ink it or 
use it just like it is. I love all the little confetti stars too, all these little sizes. That's going to be fun, fun, fun. Especially with all the shaker dies. Okay, so let's move right along and I'll show you the breezy, breezy clouds detail plate. Now this one doesn't cut first, but the paper, when you emboss it, is forced through these holes. So, here again, we're going to have it open to tab one. Put that through. Put down your cutting mat, your die, cardstock, the tan mat. Now if I left that star there, it would emboss, so we don't want anything on there or on your mat either, so make sure that's all cleaned up. Get your clear again. And your shims. And roll that through. And there you have the really nice embossed design in the background and the raised clouds in the foreground. So now this is how I do stencils also. The same tab one, a do not cut mat, a stencil. Oh, bummer, I used all my cardstock. Let's see. Cardstock, the tan mat, the clear mat, and five shims again. Here we go. Crank that through. And there you have those cute little hearts. But again, you can ink or, you know, you can put them back into the template stencil and ink them or put embossing powder or whatever you want to do. There's so many different techniques. Um, now, if you by some chance have the Sizzix silicone mat and their texture plate mat. You can also use these instead of the tan mat. Um, it's basically the same thing. You just don't use the paper shims like I did. You want your clear mat. We'll just use the, well, no, let's use the cloud. Where did I throw that to? Oh, here it is. Nope. We'll just use the stencil again. Something always disappears when I'm making a video. Same steps again. Here's the silicone mat from Sizzix, and then the black mat. I'm going to crank that through. And don't panic when you see that thing squishing out. It just, that's what it does. And there you have that pretty heart design again. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions. And I hope that helps you see what you can do, all the potential with these new dies and stencils. Thanks for watching. Bye.